People often ask me, what, what is it Nimbus does? So rather than pick up a brochure or get out a PowerPoint presentation, I quite often grab a, a, white, a pen and a whiteboard or I'll take a pen and scribble something on a napkin to describe what it is. And the, this is how it goes. You can often think of a company like this. At the top level, there is a strategy. Uh, and that's defined by the board, as in the, the corporate direction that's, the, that's set by the company. And any tr change is driven through a series of initiatives. And those initiatives will require a change in the behaviours of the working practices of people in the organisation. And the way you communicate that is through both process and metrics. Process, which is how do people do things, and metric is how we can, how are we going to measure them. And we can break those down hierarchically. So at the highest level, process and metrics. And those can both be broken down hierarchically. So what do I mean by that? At the very highest level, we might have a top-level diagram, which we've worked with the, uh, the senior level, the senior level team, the board, which is a, a series of activities, some end-to-end -end flows, and that might be qu quote to cash. And there may be some metrics associated with that, which is some key performance indicators associated with each of those different activities. And every one of those can be broken down to the next level of detail. And you break it down and break it down until you get to the point here where the people actually do the work, those processes explain what you want, what you want them to do. So actually a number of activities which we'll get from quote to cash. Now those processes describe what you want people to do, but they need to be supported by some form of workflow or automation. And below that, your enterprise applications such as SAP or Oracle, and obviously below that, your data. And those processes will define how you want your workflow to actually make your applications hang together to deliver that quote to cash process. And coming back out in the other direction through your reporting suite is the way that you're getting your data back out of your enterprise applications to be able to populate those metrics so that we know uh, the customer satisfaction index maybe on one of those particular activities. And those metrics could be at any level in the organisation. So that's great. We've now built what we call the common operational platform for the business. That's the operations manual for the company. But an employee down at this level who's got a job to do doesn't want to have to navigate their way all the way down through these activities. So their view really comes from this end, looking that way. And that will flow like that. So quote to cash for a multinational customer where they are, have uh, support for all their products and they are calling on our call centre because they want a product replaced and they have a service level agreement which says that the product can be replaced within 36 hours will be very different from the flow for a customer who has one product which is not supported, it's broken and they want to buy another one to replace it. And what we're finding is that whilst this information is very valuable, it only becomes valuable to employees when they look at it from that perspective. And our clients call those storyboards. The last point is, we've called it a common operational platform. But what does it clients call that body of information? It's obviously, it's knowledge of some sort. And they call it things like how-to, know-how, our knowledge base, excellence online. They're all very emotive terms, terms which mean that all their employees know that's the place to go to. How-to says it all. How do I get my PC fixed? Well, you go to how to, or the way that it works. And that, in a nutshell, is, is the content that we're building. The last point, though, is that that content is bound to keep changing. And if I remove this picture here, that is the master. That's the one that is the signed off version from a compliance perspective. But we also have the idea of a draft. And that draft version is where all the changes get made. That's the work in progress version. And there's a formal cycle of sign-offs to get from draft to master. So we're maintaining our compliance. So this isn't just a snapshot in time. This actually is a, an auditable system. So it supports our compliance, whether it's Sarbanes-Oxley, whether it's the FDA for Food and Drugs Administration, whether it's ISO 9000. So this is a valuable asset, just as valuable as the master data here for all your customers.
and therefore it should be looked, up, looked after in the same way. And that's really what Control's job is, is to look after that data for you.